Hey guys, Blazin here. In this video, I'm going to try something somewhat new. I'm going to try out a new style of individual weapon analysis, starting with Halo Reach, and more specifically, the Magnum. Not sure how often I'll make these, depending on how this video does. So with that said, let's move on with the analysis. Oh, and uh, cue the new intro. The Magnum in Halo Reach is called the M6G and is a semi-automatic, recoil-operated, magazine-fed, large-caliber handgun. It is made by Mizraya Armory. The gun has a polymer grip along with a titanium alloy body and what looks like a nickel-plated finish to me. The pistol uses 12.7x40mm ammo and fires M225 SAP HE rounds which stand for semi armor piercing high-explosive rounds from an 8-round magazine. In addition, the weapon is issued with a KFA-2 SmartLink optic. The slide at the rear has forward-facing diagonal serrations. The magazine release, I believe, is ambidextrous. The slide release is also ambidextrous, but what's weird about Halo's magnums, not just Halo Reach, is that the slide release is flipped backwards. I don't know why Bungie did that, but it's just a small detail I've noticed. The bottom of the mag is shaped like an irregular trapezoid. The striker sticks out at the back of the side, reminiscent of a hammer. This model is equipped with an undersung flashlight attachment. As I mentioned before, the gun holds 8 rounds in the magazine, and 40 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I was able to record was about 240 rounds per minute. The reload speed I got in an empty mag was 2.15 seconds, whereas the tactical reload speed I got was around 1.66 seconds. Max hip fire range I got was 27.57 meters, and the max zoom range was 54.97 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes just about 4 shots to break shields and 3 more shots for a kill. Strike. Or four shots to break shields and one shot to the head for a kill. Total body shot TTK I was able to record was 1.75 seconds. And the headshot TTK I got was around one second. Killing spree. Overall, my thoughts on Halo Reach's Magnum is that it's an average performing weapon. A nice sidearm to pull out on a weak opponent, but it can also be a decent primary. Bloom hinders the gun from being any better, but at least it's controllable. If anything, I wish the gun was able to hold two more rounds in order to counter Bloom. So that's about it for this weapon analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed. Links to my Twitch and Twitter are down in the description. Subscribe if you want to stick around. And until next time, peace.